and just to review, uh, the medications that we have right now for Alzheimer's disease are really for symptoms, treating the symptoms of memory, and they've been around for about 15 to 20 years. They include the cholinesterase inhibitors, Dinepazil and its uh, two sister medications, and Memantine, which is an NMDA receptor antagonist. Those medications are not disease modifying. They don't slow down the actual disease. They basically mask the symptoms of memory, and so there's been a big quest to find medicines that actually slow the disease down uh, for a while. And uh, the prime target for these uh, trials has been amyloid. So Alzheimer's disease is defined by two proteins, abnormal proteins, amyloid and tau. And uh, by and large, most trials have targeted uh, amyloid. Um, one method has been antibodies to remove amyloid from the brain and there have been newer methods to try to reduce its production in the brain. So overall, our approach to the trials themselves have, have greatly advanced. Uh, in the beginning, in this field, we were recruiting people at the very advanced stages. We weren't sure if they really had Alzheimer's disease or not. Uh, with the advent of in vivo imaging of amyloid, as well as a focus on the very earliest stages of the disease, uh, I think we're getting a better, a better handle on what time points we can really uh, take advantage and manipulate the course of disease. Uh, so recently there's been some news uh, about some positive signal in a clinical trial related to an anti-amyloid antibody. This is the Biogen uh, study. Um, and what they found was that a particular anti-amyloid -am antibody, aducanumab, uh, slowed down both cognitive decline and functional decline by about 15 to 20 percent over the course of about 70 odd weeks. Um, this evidence was from one version of the trial, and in another trial it didn't seem to have a statistically significant effect. Either way, they are moving forward with an application to the FDA for approval, um, but this is very exciting uh, to all of us. Uh, we haven't been privy to the, the data itself. It needs to be vetted by the scientific community as well as the FDA. Um, but either way, I think that this uh, lets us know that we are headed in the right direction and that amyloid may actually be a viable target.